So, the Great Resignation, it has, you know, made a lot of opportunities for people to become entrepreneurs. A lot of those entrepreneurs are currently being gang stalked. That's why they had all those, you know, crates of shipments stop at the ports. Because number one, a lot of people quit their jobs in order to become entrepreneurs because they were tired of being gang stalked and treated like shit. So what they did was they pretty much stopped all of that. Like I said, if the gang stalking victims come together and create a network, we would be trillionaires. Hear me out. They were white racists. And when the black people became free, they created Black Wall Street. And it was so successful that these racists had to go and massacre these people and steal and pillage what was left there. We don't live in Tulsa anymore. We live in the 21st century. Although they are gang stalking people, we have smarts. We don't even need their companies for anything. You know what I mean? People have boats. So you can have a small little company that delivers things. You know what I mean? You could, it's so many things that you don't have to fucking accept. They do this to you because they feel like you have no choice. There's not even any really good advocate groups. Online, I've been looking for different African groups and I have contacted a few um, targeted individuals myself and I always reach out online. I'm always searching to see, you know, who's a targeted individual because there is literally a lot of us. A lot of us. Some people are afraid and they switch out. I met one crazy girl. Her name was um, Phoenix Rising and she has this bullshit academy where she teaches you how to, you know, not become a victim or whatever. But she's being used to gang stalk people because I guess she was trying to gang stalk me. But bitch, it's not going to work. I'm too good, too smart. Like I said, when you have been gang stalked for so long, you can tell the little subtleties, just little things. And you're like, OK, bitch, you're you done switched over a size or whatever. But my whole point is nobody has to deal with this shit. There's a motherfucker that's a hairstylist that's a gang stalking victim that you can go and get your hair done at. There's a motherfucker with a restaurant that's a gang stalking victim that you could go and, and eat at their restaurant. You understand what I'm saying? People could build gyms and the only people who go to that gym is gang stalking victims. And you don't even know that bitch might be booming like a goddamn 808. Nobody got to be putting up with shit. If all these gang stalking victims would stop fucking giving their dollars to these motherfucking greedy motherfucking one percent corporate assholes you know and they always try to come for you oh and bust shit down bitch bust what you had a good opportunity you're out here gang stalking your own citizens who the fuck gonna give you money and make you rich and for you to treat me like shit bitch no 